In this video we have chance to explore one of the most interesting 3D printers on the market, FL Sun S1. This printer is loaded with different features and this printer claimed to be twice as fast than any other high speed printer in this price range. I don't remember the last time when I was so excited to receive 3D printer. So let's go back in time and start from the really beginning. The first thing I had to do was to get this printer out of the box and oh boy was this box heavy. This was not one person job. Like I had to get this on the second floor. When I opened the box there were accessories that you have to remove and little instruction how to get the rest of the printer out of the box. This is really good to include this little note because my idea was to pull this printer out from there but it's not the correct way to do it. I had to turn the box on the side and then slide this out which was extremely simple to do. Then I just remove the rest of the protective material and keep in mind if you buy this and unbox it then the glass door is not attached to the printer so be careful to not let this fall down. This printer is not 100% pre-assembled. The door and the screen are not attached to the printer. To attach them all the bolts and tools are included and it's really easy to do. It didn't took me more than 10 minutes. When those two things are done and the clips from the belts are removed the printer is ready to go. When I started this first it asked my preferred language and my Wi-Fi password. Then it ran some calibration sequence and it took around 10 minutes. Finally, now it's time to start the first print. And it failed. It failed because I forget to load the filament in the printer. Yes, I tried to print without filament. So of course I fixed this little issue and started printing. The first print is, like always, Benji Boat. They claim to print this model with only 8 minutes. This printer should be a bit more than twice as fast like Pambulab, Credit K1 or GDTEC Q1. Watching this printer right now, it's kinda nuts. This is so fast, nothing coming close to this speed. My camera autofocus doesn't like the situation right now. By the way, this is impossible to not mention how loud this printer is. The noise comes from the cooling. It has turbo fan on top of the printer. And with the tube, the air is directed to the print. By the way, I'm not complaining. Well, actually, I am a bit. But I understand. If you want to print with those speeds, you need insane cooling. I get it. And in my opinion, they have solved the cooling issue really well. This is kind of unique way to do it. And it works. Really well done, to be honest. After 8 minutes, the Benji boat is ready and looks fine. For sure, I have printed better benches with some other machines, but never with 8 minutes. We have to keep this in mind when we charge this Benji boat. For 8 minutes, I'm fine with the result. There are minor stringings inside the cabin, overhangs are a bit rough and one side of the hull has slight artifact. They included white filament that I use for this print and it's a bit hard to see on the camera, so I printed one more with black filament, to see the result better. They have included bunch of test prints but I'm not going to print all of them. But I did one more. One lighthouse model looks so cool so I decided to go with this one. By the way, just to be clear, I didn't speed up the footage. This is actual speed of the printer. Again, sorry for the white filament, this is the last time I'm using it. But for sure, this print looks way cleaner than the Benji we printed previously. Overhangs are really good this time. All the small details and outer skin looks really nice. This print turned out way better than the last one. These type of models are something I don't print by myself. I'm using 3D printer for mechanical things. If you have seen any videos in my channel, you should know. So I did print something I'm really used to print. This time I'm using light blue filament to print one water bump impeller. This is extremely simple model and if you look at the result, it's not bad. Everything is okay with this print, but the outer skin has some weird funky texture. I'm not sure is this something called salmon skin, what is really common with delta printers, or this is just downside printing so fast. I'm not sure about this. The next day before I continue printing with this printer, I did a little upgrade for it. The loud noise is a problem for me, so I searched the options to get it a bit better. 
So I 3D printed a muffler. From the outside it looks just a box and it pretty much is, but inside it has little maze. It absorbs some of the sound. It doesn't make the printer completely silent, but for sure it helps. After this little upgrade I continued with the printing. I just started pulling this jet engine model as a gift to my grandpa, so I used this printer also for this. Not everything is printed with this printer, but one of the things that is printed with S1 is this big fan. I am really happy with the result, again like before, the outside walls have some texture, but overall there is nothing wrong with this print. The side where the supports was connected is a bit rough, but this is not the printer fault. I used model supports, not generated, and they were shit. I had to cut them off. But the most exciting thing about this model is the fact that it took me only 1 hour and 58 minutes to print. Which is so less for this size of the model. Do you have any idea how fast this printer actually is? I compared this to some other printers. Like I just told, this model took me around 2 hours to print with S1. If you wanna print this exact same model with one regular speed printer, you know those slow ones. For example, I do Creality CR10 V3. It would took 19 hours and 36 minutes to print. I don't miss those times. If you come back from the past to present, printing same model with Pambulab X1 Carbon, it would took 3 and a half hours. The difference is huge. This printer is way faster than the current high speed printers. But lot of people probably think, why is this extra speed needed and is this worth sacrificing print quality for that? It's a good point and some people don't get any value for this extra speed. It depends for what you use 3D printers. But me, I am running 3D printing YouTube channel and I'm working with the printers every day and night. So more speed means work will be done faster. I show you one example from real life, how this printer saved me an insane amount of time. I needed to print this part. It's a pipe that will be connected to the water pump inlet. There are o-rings for the seal. The fit have to be as tight as possible, to make sure no water leaks out between those two parts. Before I printed the whole model, I needed to make sure the measurements are accurate, otherwise I just waste a lot of filament. So I started printing those test prints, and it took me 4 tries to get them right. Some were too tight and they didn't fit at all, and some were too loose. Printing one of those test models took me 7 minutes to print. So it took me no times to test the measurements and get this perfect final result. This is what I just described is called rapid prototyping. People who use printers like me or some what similar way, for those makers and why not even companies find this printer and this extra speed really valuable. We have seen 3D printing a lot, so let's take a little break from that. And let's take a look at some other interesting features that this printer has to offer. First I wanna highlight the screen that this printer has. This is something I have never seen on the 3D printer. It's big, really high resolution and extremely responsive. Also navigating around the menu and settings is so straightforward and comfortable. When you start printing then you have options to tweak some settings and also you can monitor the print speed live. This is really cool by the way. Overall this printer is huge and really well built. The glass doors, metal frame, carbon fiber rods, it gives you a feeling that you are using some expensive high quality machine. It's not only a feeling, you actually are. Overall look is also sexy. The light inside the printer and the shape of the screen is just so cool. I like it so much. Something have to be highlighted is the filament holder. This is placed at the front of the printer, behind the glass door. It sounds like a small thing, but nowadays, for some stupid reason, everybody plays the filament holder at the back of the printer. It's absolute nonsense. And not only it's at the front of the printer and in the closed environment, it also has an actively heated filament dry box. It's perfect and must have when you wanna print materials like nylon, carbon fiber nylon, PC and so on. The hot end is made out of hardened steel and you have one spare part in the toolbox. This hot end can go up to 350 degrees. It makes basically all the materials available for this printer. By the way, it's really close to peak printing temperature. I mean, they haven't claimed that this printer can print peak, but it might handle it. And also, that has to be mentioned, the price. This printer cost in EU 1600 euros. In US, 1500 dollars. The price is high, but you get what you pay for. In my opinion, this printer is worth the cost. But for who this printer is made? For beginners and hobbyists who print every Saturday something beautiful, FL Sun has not targeted this market for sure. Maybe high-end hobbyists, makers like me who use printers as a tool and companies who need 3D printing for rapid prototyping. I think this is the market that FL Sun targets with S1. 
and maybe it's even good for 3D printing farm. I have never run 3D printing farm, so I cannot really say, but this printer is fast, reliable and has huge printing volume, so it might be good. If you are working with 3D printer farm, please leave a comment below what you think is this type of printer good for 3D printing farm or not. My honest opinion of this printer, hmm, it's not for everybody, but for who it is, they will fall in love with this and cannot imagine life without it. And I can say, I am one of them. So after watching this video and you think this printer can offer you something that you need or want, I can recommend this for you. You will get what you pay for. For others who just wanna have fun with 3D printer, this printer is overkill and you find better option at lower price point. One option can be the little brother of S1. So guys, big thank you for watching and I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I do my best to answer you all. But again, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.